Hello, I'm Michael Morgan. Um, I teach music instruction, primarily drums, but I also teach beginner bass, guitar, and keyboard. So if you're interested, hit me up. Um, you can find me on Facebook just under Michael Morgan. I live in Virginia Beach, Virginia. So right now I'm going to talk about the basics in drumming. So when you're learning a beat that requires at least three things going on at once, such as good old Billy Jean beat there, standard rock beat, is one, start slow, two, practice all the different parts separately, and three, start slow. <laughs> Um, you'll see what I mean. So, when you want to learn a rock beat like that, first you got to know what parts of the drums you're going to be hitting. So, on this standard rock beat, you want to do, you're going to be using three different things, three different components of the drum set the bass drum, the snare drum, and the hi hat. Alright, so in that beat, three different things going on all at once and they're all fairly different so what the bass drum is doing if you're familiar enough with music you have what are called measures and you have four beats in each measure so if you're going one two three four one two three four one two three four the bass drum is hitting on the one and the three one two three four one two three four the snare is hitting on the opposite end of that, on the two and the four. Not the one and the three, but the two and the four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So there you have kick drum or bass drum, same thing, on one and three, and snare on two and four. So you have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So when you're learning that beat, that's usually the best way to start with a beat like that is the bass drum and the snare. So you're going to know the bass drum's hitting not when the snare is hitting, and the snare is hitting not when the bass drum is hitting. So it's just a back and forth between the two. One, two, three, four. Right now, I'm a right-handed drummer, so I'm using my right foot for the bass drum on the bass drum pedal, and then my left hand for the snare. Uh, you don't have to do it that way. You can use your right hand for the snare, or if, you know, if you're ambidextrous, it's up to you. Um, if you're left-handed drummer, usually you're going to be using your left foot on the kick and right hand on the snare. But most drummers, as far as I know, it's going to be right foot on the bass drum and left hand on the snare. Now, the third and final component of this beat is the hi-hat. Now, this one is doing eighth notes, whereas on the kick drum and the snare, those are quarter notes. Again, the kick drum's on the one and the three, and the snare is on the two and the four. One, two, three last part, which you want to play with a little bit separately, is the hi-hat as eighth notes, which are twice as fast as quarter notes. Alright, so that's going to be doing this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... My, sorry about my, my crazy sounding clock there. <laughs> but anyway, so notice the way I count. One and two and three and four and that's how you count eighth notes in a standard fashion. One and two and three and four and so at a certain point your bass drum and your snare are going to be hitting at the same time as the hi hat. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. But play around with the hi hat first. Get used to that feel, which is with your right hand mainly. One, two and three and four. And we could just count like this. One, two, three, four. One. Three, four. You're doubling it up on the count. That's why they're eighth notes. Because eighth notes are twice as fast as quarters. When I count one, two, three, four, those are the eighth. Those are the quarter notes. So there's four beats in each measure. One, two, three. All right. So there's different ways. Going back to the three key things to know when you're coming up with and learning your beat. All right. So. Do, first thing is start slow once you start to put it all together. Uh, you also want to separate things. So once you get used to this part, and then you're pretty used to it, it gets in your muscle memory, start adding the hi-hat 
with maybe just the snare, no kick drum. So you know the snare is on the two and the four now that I've brought that up. So pretty much you gotta get used to this too though. Maybe even slower. Again, start slow. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Remember that snare is on the two and the four. One, two, three, four. Now try it with just the kick drum in the hi-hat. Again, you might want to mess around with this first, just your right hand on the hi-hat only. Just get used to that. Get used to doing that. Know where everything's going to be between the snare and the kick in relation to the hi-hat. Now I'm just going to do the bass drum with the hi-hat, no snare. Remember the which beat, which two beats the bass drum's on, right? One and three. Alright, so here we go. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one. Two, three, four, one and two and three and four and whoops, I had an extra one there, sorry. Alright, so now once you practice everything separately like that and different combinations, leaving at least one thing out to help you get used to one part of the, the common I like to call them combo beats because that's what they are. They're a combination of different things, at least three things going on. Hi hat, snare and kick drum. So once you play around with just the kick and the snare, or just the kick, make sure you do it on one and three, and then the snare on the two and four. The hi-hat is on every single beat and everything in between that because it's eighth notes. One and two and three and four and. You can even do the hi-hat as just quarter notes like this if that makes it easier for you. One, two, three, four. Every single beat, but they're just quarter notes. That's a more simplistic way of learning, learning a beat like this might be the better way to go at first. So this is how that would sound. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Taking out the high the snare and kick drum. Just hi hat. Now just hi hat and snare. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now I'm just gonna do the kick drum and hi hat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to bring it all together. Again, this might be a way to start learning a beat like this. And all you're doing is doing the hi hat twice as fast once you go to the eighth note. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Practice doing the hi hat with just either the kick or the snare only. And then back and forth. Just the kick and the hot snare, hi-hat and kick drum, but I would do it a little slower than that, like this, and chest snare, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, feel where the upbeat is, which is the snare, and once you've messed around with everything a little bit, bring it all together, so, you know, start slow, like I said, Do that for a while. Even if you mess up, keep going. If you mess up enough, that, that means you want to slow it down more. And then once you get comfortable at a certain tempo or speed, you start to speed it up. So that's the basics in learning a combination beat like that where you're doing at least a, several, a few things at once. And this will be your just your very standard you know, popular rock beat. All right, hope that makes sense, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.